Well, good morning, everybody. Renee here, here on the front porch for a change. You know, a lot of people have been asking me what I think about the election this year. And so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do part two of what I started with last uh, devotional yesterday and also what I mentioned in the TLC newsletter. You can get that, by the way, at tlc.org slash newsletter. And it's just this, I don't try to persuade Christians how to vote. I try to persuade Christians how to live. I think that's my responsibility as a pastor. I'm concerned, yes, about Christian votes, but personally, I'm far more concerned about Christian witness. The results of this election may have an impact for the next four years or so, but our Christian witness will have an impact for eternity. And I'm eager for our church not to be known as like a red church or a blue church or even a purple church. I want our church to be known as a red and blue and purple and black and white and brown church that may not have anything in common. But this one thing, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see because of the amazing grace of Jesus Christ. And I hope you can add your amen to that. Now, with that in mind, what I started talking about last weekend were these five countercultural commitments. You can download this at tlc.org slash card. I encourage you to do this today, tlc.org slash card. And you can print them out like this, or you can put them onto the Photos app of your phone. Now, yesterday we went over the first two, I will be loyal to the Lord. I commit my allegiance to the Lord Jesus above all. I trust that he is sovereign, so I will choose an attitude of hope and love and not fear, and I will be grounded in the word. I commit to having my views formed by the Bible instead of using the Bible to support my predetermined ideas. And then today I wanna to look at the next three. I will be radiating grace. I commit to not not being a jerk, but instead leading with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I will be a person of peace. I commit to making every effort to maintain peace between believers and to be a peacemaker in the world. And I will be a blessing to all. I commit to blessing and loving all people including my so-called enemies. I will not mock or slander or curse anyone. I will pray for local, state, and national elected leaders, no matter who wins the election this next Tuesday, right? The bottom line is this. Jesus prayed at the Last Supper, may all of them be one, Father, just as you are in me, and I'm in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Man, that's the bottom line. Let's all commit to that cause of Christ. Again, I hope you can add your amen. Much love and prayers from me to you. I hope we can see you this weekend for our live stream services at tlc.org slash live, or you can even join us in person at tlc.org slash RSVP. God bless you. Let's blow everybody around us away with our love and unity in Christ.